Today we're going to be trying double the food. We've got some American snacks and their international counterparts, and we're going to see which our reactors like better in Flavor Face Off. Okay. What fresh hell is this? <laughs> it looks, it looks, okay. And it's funny because you look size-wise this is the American sized one, but this is clearly like a, a Kellogg's or whatever, a Rice Krispie. This literally looks like giraffe crackers molded into a Rice Krispie treat. Oh my God. Oh, is that, are those sesame seeds? <laughs> That's really weird. I had a high. Yeah, this is too, like, it's not my cup of tea. I would never grab for these. Like, I don't want to hate on the food. This is not my snack of choice. It, okay, oh. <laughs> I feel like I gave it that kombucha face of, hmm. No. Well. <laughs> oh. It's very soft and it literally just like dissolves in my mouth. Oh, I don't know about this one. Okay. It's almost savory in a way. It kind of tastes like funnel cake, but in a Rice crispy form. Whoa. Low, but like, not a better low, to be honest. It's not bad. It is definitely different though. Which one do you prefer? This one. It's not as like powerful, sweet kind of thing. The only thing I don't like about this right now is that it keeps getting stuck to my tooth. Oh, come on. I'm getting a Rice Krispie treat. It's like sweet. The consistency's the right. It's got that nice just chew factor to it. It's, it's perfect. If I had to have one, I would pick this one. I honestly feel like I'd feel better about myself eating this than I would this. I'm gonna go with the sugary and visually pleasing Rice Krispie Treat. <laughs> this is a taro soft flour cake from Taiwan. Oh, taro root. Wow. Okay, I like it. This one is particularly easy because uh, this one's got a joke on it. Pretty sure I can figure out which one is which. The joke says, why are shellfish so strong? We'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me a couple minutes. That's so tasty. Pretty much what I expected. It's like, probably watermelon actually is my best guess on the flavor. Cause I feel like this is like the healthy one, but at the end, it's just as long as you get a joke, that's all that matters. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh sir, 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 <laughs> sir. <laughs> Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you should never use a fork to eat your popsicles. Unfortunately, she's stuck to the plate. So without further ado, let's try this flavor. Not into that one. I mean, it's good, but it's, it's not what I want. Ugh. Wait, no, I do like it. Is it pina colada? Mmm. I like the texture of this. I'm getting to the joke, you guys. I'm getting to the joke. Okay, Lindsay, why are shellfish so strong? because of their muscles. Which one do you like better? The strawberry one. If I had both in my fridge, I would reach for this more. Just cause I would feel like less guilty about it, as dumb as that is. I like something about both. So it's hard to say which trumps the other. <laughs> like I don't really go for these types of popsicles. If I'm going for a popsicle, I kind of want the OG classic, like, oh, I'm sick, I'm staying home from school, Crayola ones. These are apples and oranges or strawberries and mangoes as it were. This one is like super refreshing. Like it's really, it's really light. Like you just get that strawberry flavor. This one, it's you just had like, you just had a, a meal inside, you're feeling good and you're like, I just want to get some desserts. You're going for that one for sure. The American one is obviously a popsicle and it's strawberry. And then the other one is a jackfruit ice bar from Thailand. This is my first time having jackfruit. No wonder I didn't know because I've never had jackfruit before. That's probably why I was getting that, uh, that cheese flavor off of it because of the fact that jackfruit is usually used uh, a lot of times in savory dishes as opposed to using meat. So I, to I totally get that. And that's great. I like that a lot. I appreciate the introduction of salty after all the sweets. So this is good. So chips. What is that? That's not barbecue. That's, that's, uh, that's something else. This is gonna be the Lay's classic yellow bag potato chip. <laughs> And I was right. Just original flavor, salt, and now the exciting mystery flavor that is probably barbecue. Oh, uh -huh. it's not exactly like our barbecue flavor. It's definitely something else, but what? 
Oh, they're barbecue. No? Ew. Ketchup? Ew, what is this flavor, Lindsay? What everybody talks about Canada having and we don't have, the all dress chips, which I think those are ruffles, but I'm gonna say these are like ketchup chips. Well, which one do you prefer here? Well, I like American chips, but I, I've just, I've never been crazy about the original bland flavor. It's just salt. This is something new and interesting. I think I'm gonna actually go with this one for once, finally. Salted lays are fine if you've got like something to dip them in or something like that, but these ones can stand on their own and that's why I like them better. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually pretty appealing. The Lay's. I would do this just because this is like familiar. It's comfortable. So I, I would go with this, which I'm assuming is Lay's. This is the Lay's Mexican chicken tomato flavor from China. What did you just say to me? That was too many words from too different from too many different places, huh? I'm like kind of wondering what the heck is Mexican chicken tomato? It tastes like tomato soup. I couldn't eat a lot of those. It'd have to just be like one or two like I just did and then no. So here's the thing. These look like bugles. Um, and I love bugles, bugles are great. Right, let me go bugle first, cause I mean, classic witch fingies. Can I even fit my, barely, barely. <laughs> you should be able to do like. That's like, oh, and then you bite your finger and then you go, oh my God. Oh, this could get like really addicting for no reason. Like this is when you get addicted, addicted to something that like doesn't even taste good. Triangle one. Also got some like dust on it. Um. Oh, I do not like this one. I have no idea what's going on in that one. I just know that <laughs> my body's rejecting it. <laughs> it is cheesy, but it's not like American cheesy, obviously. It's what I would think another country, how they would flavor their Doritos. Oh, what is that? It's got, it's got almost like a, like a shrimp chip type of flavor. But that's good, that's really good. I could eat a whole bag of those for sure. All right, these look evil. Those are cool, I actually really like those. I would eat these. These look like a Triscuit version of them. Ooh, whoa, pizza? Is that a pizza flavor? Whoa, not what I was expecting at all. Hmm. Which one is your favorite? Honestly, I kind of like these a lot better than both of them. This one is just like really pleasant and it's not too much, it's airy. I ate all of them, so you know my response is honest. I think I'm gonna go with these because the flavor of it is so like deliciously foreign to me that I gotta go with those ones. I'm gonna go with this one. I wanna see this one. I actually think the middle one's my favorite. If you really like flavor punches, like definitely try this, but like, I'm, I'm probably not gonna have this. Those are standard bugles from America, and those are cod roe flavored crunchy triangles from Japan. Cod row. I have no idea what that is. That's like fish eggs. Oh, okay, I'm glad you didn't tell me that before. <laughs> and the last one is mouth spicy Chinese crayfish crunch triangle. <laughs> Names. <laughs> can we get, can we slow these names down? <laughs> For real. If I saw a bag that had a, like crayfish on it or a cod row, I would not have picked it up. And it was like, they're both really tasty. Next time you're in a store and you look at something and you're like, that's kind of weird, try it. Cause you might like it. It's almost kind of better that you don't tell me what the ingredients are before I try them. Because I feel like you go into it with a much, more passive blind eye. Had you told me those chips were made out of fish eggs and those other crisps were made out of crawfish, it's not that I wouldn't try them. I think I'd be a little more hesitant to just try them out because you might like it. Thanks for watching Flavor Face Off on Replay. What food should we try next? Let us know in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, Replay producer Lindsay here. Thanks for watching our very first Flavor Face Off. Is this a format you like? Let us know in the comments. We'll be in them for the first 30 minutes after the release, so come chat!